We've given an example of a transformation. T of x equals a times x. And we've given a few definitions, the main range and so on. Let's do some examples tying these things together. We'll use a matrix A to define a transformation, T of x equals A times x. And let's start um, the kind of simple example. Let's just clarify that we understand what this transformation is doing by finding the image of a vector. T of this is A. time is this, which is whatever it is. It's a three by one vector, two plus three is five, six, minus 5 is 1, negative 2 minus 7. There's the image of that vector. Now let's find the pre-image of a vector. The pre image, and I guess I haven't explicitly defined that, but it's a definition from college algebra. We're being asked to find a vector V such that the image of V is B. And then we're asking, are there any other vectors whose image is also B? Well, T of V by the way we defined this linear, sorry, haven't defined linearity yet. By the way we defined this transformation, P of V is this matrix times V. And we're therefore being asked to solve a matrix equation. Matrix equations, we've talked about solving these. We use Gauss-Jordan elimination on this augmented matrix. And if we remember that the columns here correspond to variables. We can read off V1 is 1.5, V2 is negative 0 0.5. So here is our solution. And we see that there's only this single solution. So this pre-image is unique. This is the only vector that fits the bill. Closely related to pre-images, are questions relating to range. Because a vector has 
a pre-image. If and only if it is in the range of the linear transformation. So what we're asking here is this vector in the range of the transformation is, does T of V equals this vector have a solution. And the way this problem and this problem are framed is different, but we'll approach them the same way to determine whether this equation has a solution. We reframe this in terms of what T of V actually is. We're asking whether there's a V such that this matrix times V equals this vector. And to answer that question, we'll just try to find V1, V2, and see what happens. We'll perform the Gauss-Jordan elimination that is required to solve this equation. And when we do, we get this, zero V1 plus zero V2 equals one. This pivot in the last column is telling you that there is no solution. I think that's it for this example. Next video, we'll state an important definition, the definition of linearity. I used that word accidentally in this video. And next video, we'll see what I meant by it.